Hi there guys, Mike Graham here from SME Skills Academy and welcome to the SME Skills Academy 30 day supercharge your sales challenge and today we're on day number five and I want to welcome you to this video, I want to welcome you to day number five, you've been on the journey with us so far, we're nearly, we've nearly completed our first week and I hope you've been enjoying it. So for today, what I'm going to be sharing with you guys, what I'm going to be talking about is how you can sell your current service and product for three times the price. That's right, the same product and service for three times the price. And you might listen to that and you might go, Mike, that sounds crazy. I can't even sell my own current product service at the moment at the current price. How do you expect me to sell it for three times the price? But trust me, it's 100% possible. You know, to give you a little bit of an example and an analogy, Think about it, the car salesman, the classic sales example, right? The car salesman. You will have a car salesman that will sell, for example, a Volvo. Nothing wrong with a Volvo, but they'll sell a Volvo. And yet you will also have a car salesman who will go and sell a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Again, not that one is better than the other, but one is definitely more expensive than the other. So what makes the difference in the salesperson? Why can one salesperson sell a car sometimes at, you know, 50 times the price of the other? So what is the fundamental difference there? Because it's, it's the same in every industry. You could be an accountant, you could be a lawyer, you could be a graphic designer, you could be a marketing expert, you could be a coach. Your industry doesn't matter to a certain extent because I guarantee you there's always someone in the industry that sells at a higher price than what you're selling. So the question is, why? And what can you do about that to change that so that you can sell at a higher price? average order value as well. So what I want to share with you guys is this concept, three basic simple things that you can do. And before we start tapping into that is I really want you to ask the question, are you an expert in the market? Are you an expert in what you do and the service and products that you provide? Now, obviously listening to that, your knee jerk reaction is probably yes, of course I am. But I want you to think from your prospects point of view and from the market's point of view. Does the market and do your prospects see you as the expert? And it's a very tough question to answer. It's a very tough question to, to be honest with yourself and go, mm, maybe they don't. Maybe I need to improve certain areas. Or yes, they do. Or yes, they do. And that's fantastic. And high five to you for achieving that. So when you're looking at being an expert, right? When you're looking at being an expert, a big part of this comes down to how you present yourself. For example, on your LinkedIn, on your Facebook, a big part comes down to how you present yourself nowadays on Zoom. It's so important to have good lighting, to have good sound, to come dressed appropriate for the role, to have your hair done, to look the part that you're trying to get people to believe you are. Does that make sense? You can't say to people, I'm an expert but yet you don't look that part, right? It's, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't add up and you don't sound that part. So in terms of you know, how you present yourself, you've obviously got the, the visual aspect, but then you've also got the verbal and the feeling aspect. The verbal aspect is what you say. You, you don't waffle, you, you're, you're crisp, you're clear, you know what you're talking about, you're direct, you're to the point, and you get your message across in the best and most professional manner. And in terms of that, you sound confident. And that gives people a feeling that you know your stuff, you know what you're doing, right? Because you can look great, you can look like an expert, but if your verbal isn't that good, if your visual's great, but your verbal isn't that good, then your feeling that you're gonna impact with people is not gonna be that positive. And the feeling is what matters a lot. The feeling of what people feel when they talk to you. I want people when they talk to me, you know, I might not be the most professional person, I might not be the most elegant at times, but I want people to feel, holy smokes, that guy, you know, he was like, he was like a train. You know, he came through, he, he made such a big impact in that conversation, I've gotta work with him, right? That is the feeling I want people to feel when they talk to me about growing their business and growing their sales. So my question is, what feeling do you want people to have when they talk to you 
about your product and service. So the second thing that you really want to focus on, so number one is we focus on how we present ourselves. We've got the, 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 the visual, the verbal, and then the feeling. The second thing you want to focus on is the concept of finding solutions for your clients and tapping into that why they're buying from you. Nobody cares about what you do. Nobody cares about how you do it. And I'm saying that with a huge level of respect. What they really care about is what is the result that you're going to achieve for me by me working with you? And does that line up with what I'm trying to do? The minute you can cut through all the jargon, all the nonsense, everything, and the minute you can like dissect that reason and get that reason out is the reason you're going to start closing a lot more deals, but not only closing a lot more deals, you're going to be able to sell at a higher average order value because you're focusing on the solution, you're focusing on the why. You're not too bothered about the mechanisms in terms of how you achieve that, right? Because the mechanisms of how you achieve that is when your client starts working with you. And the third thing that's really important is to be assertive and to be confident that you can achieve the results for your clients, right? You know, sometimes I have 100% done this in the past and I still do this now where I, you know, I'm working with someone new and I'm not 100% confident whether are we going to get a result, yes or no, is it, going to, is it going to be great, yes or no. But I approach the exercise, I approach the project with confidence, I approach it with a level of excitement, I trust my system that I've got, my delivery system that I've got, and I execute it to 100% of my capabilities, right? And I'll be honest, 99% of the time, boom, we're great. 1% every now and again, it doesn't work out, but that's life, life is like that. That doesn't mean you're not the expert, it just means it just didn't work out, it's not a big deal, we move on, right? You make sure that you leave. One of the key things is to always leave people on a good note, whether you, your project succeeds or not, leave them on a good note, leave them knowing you did your very best, right? But nine times out of 10, if you're good at what you're doing, and if you deliver with confidence, with a good attitude, and you do follow the systems that you've got, whatever those delivery systems might be, you will find that you'll surprise yourself and you'll over deliver for a client, which is what which is what happens with us a lot of times, you know? A lot of times we're working with clients and we're a little bit uneasy at the start, but, but heck, we follow the system and very shortly, the client starts doubling, triple their turnover. But that comes from in the beginning, having a level of assertiveness, having a level of confidence, trusting yourself that you are going to get the results, right? And that's what you've got to do. You kind of, you've got to dress the part of that expert. And it's not just about saying you're an expert and putting it on your LinkedIn profile. It's about walking, talking, breathing it, acting as if so that you can become the role you're trying to be. Guys, I hope this video has helped you. My name's Mike. Thank you so much for being part of this SME Skills Academy 30 Day Supercharge Your Sales Challenge. Again, we hope you're enjoying the, the series and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day number six. Final little note, when sales matter, we deliver. Cheers and bye for now.